What up, this is your boy Roy Jones Jr. and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Card for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. And I'm delighted to be joined by Spencer Knowledge Fearon. Spencer, good afternoon, buddy. How you doing? I'm really, really good, man. And thank you very much for having me on, 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 your, on your channel, man. Big up Lights Out. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, Spencer. Um, we're here just near the O2 Arena. We've just witnessed the public workout for Saturday night's huge fight at the O2 Arena between Savannah Marshall and Clarissa Shields for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. We've seen some pretty big shows this year, but how excited are you for this one, Spencer? Uh, this is an amazing show. This is it's history. So it means a lot to say like, we're coming out and we're gonna be a part of history, to see history, to witness history. This is fantastic. Massive big up to, to, to Boxer, Ben Shalom, big up Sky, how they put this together, it's wicked. What have you made of uh, Sky Sports since they've kind of part, well, moved away from Matchroom, teamed up with Boxer, they put on some good shows this year. You know, how do you feel they're progressing on this uh, new journey that they're on? Um, it's, it's cool because we're at the early stages of it. Um, so when we see something that's embryonic, but we're seeing that the the, the, the fertilization of the embryos is, 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 is good to witness on certain things. Um, this show within itself is, is a fantastic show. Um, it is, you know what I mean? Um, um, Maya versus uh, Burren Gardner is a wicked, wicked fight. I want to realize how great that fight is, an incredible fight. They also, right, but when you're talking about like Clarissa Shields versus Savannah Marshall, this is the closest thing that female boxing has to Sugar Ray Leonard versus Tommy Hearns, September 16th, 1981. This is the closest thing that we've got. You know what I mean? The punching power of Savannah Marshall is no joke. It's no joke, right? But not only that, but it's coupled with boxing ability, but the, the science or the sweet science of the things that Carusha Shows possesses, that's no joke neither. And this is why it's a very, very intriguing fight. I mean, a lot of people look back to the early days of the, the fight in the amateurs and what Clarissa went on to achieve with the Olympic gold medals and Savannah obviously becoming a world champion uh, in the professional ranks. How much of a... You know, how much of a factor do you think that that plays going into this fight, the amateur fight between a Savannah Marshall and Clarissa Shields? Well, what it means is that one person knows what it's like to have victory against the other person, and one person knows what it's like to taste the taste defeat against the other person. But if you know that you clean the slate, and you clean the slate when you turn professional. Yeah, you know I mean, amateur means for the love of professional means for the living of. So there is a big difference. You know what I mean, and we've got to see like how one one person has propelled themselves and 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 transgressed in the, in, in, in the professional arena, you'd have to say hats off to Clarissa Shaw. She's done, she's done amazing, she's done amazing things. You know what I mean? So you got props her, you know what I mean? Uh, have you managed to watch The Gloves Are Off that aired on Sunday on Sky Sports? Yeah, I did, I watched it. Um, what did you make of it, Spencer? Yeah, it was really good. You know what I mean? It, it, it was good. Um, and you know, you can't really read too much into those things anyway. So I'm not going to sit down and say, well, this is the sole purpose of this, 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 and all the rest of it. Because you know what they say? You know what I mean? Talk is cheap. So I, I ain't running into say, I'm not buying into the talk thing. Go and fight. I'm watching, obviously, the gloves are off. I've watched it twice now. Um, I was really interested by it. I wanted to see. It was different. We're having two women. I mean, we're so used to having the men not when the gloves are off, but we had two women who were obviously fight for an undisputed title on Saturday night. And I noticed uh, how Savannah said she rates Clarissa as a, as, a, as a fighter, but I didn't see that sort of same respect given back to her from Clarissa's side. Of, side. You, have to, you understand this thing, yeah? Sound, what you verbalize is sound. So sound, frequency, and vibration, right? So whatever comes out your mouth, yeah? That is what you have, and that is who you are. So therefore, somebody may not want to give somebody else some energy by, by saying anything complimentary or all the rest of it. Saying like, no, let's deal with this. And no doubt, after the fight, win, lose, draw, then we could be cool. But right now, we're going to fight each other. So everyone handles things differently. So there's a certain approach, which is going to be very, very American. There's going to be certain approaches that are going to come, and we're going to, we're going to guard that down to say that this is a very English approach. So that's all it is, it's chalk and cheese, and we'll see um, come Saturday night what happens when they go and fight each other. 
Let's just talk about a few other topics in boxing because I know we haven't got leg long left before we have to get off the boat. Uh, we understand that talks are progressing now between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury is uh, given the dates that he is able to fight. I believe Anthony Joshua has accepted a 60-40 split. I mean, are you are all perhaps surprised that that fight could potentially be happening given the fact that Anthony Joshua's coming off the back of two defeats against Alexander Rusik? Um, no, but I would like to see Anthony Joshua, to be real, to take time out, to recapitulate, to take some time to chill, spend some time with his family and find himself spiritually. That's what I'd like to see Anthony Joshua do. You know what I mean? But if Anthony Joshua feels like in his heart, yeah, boom, I'm going to take this fight, I'm going for Tyson Fury, da 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 da, -da and all the rest of it, yeah? But if the energy is right, then he should go there. But, and, and what's the purpose of you taking that fight? You know what I mean? If the purpose is for you to take that fight because you believe that you can beat uh, um, Tyson Fury, then go take the fight. You really feel deep down in the heart. If, the, if to take the fight is because you want to eradicate the fight, the fact that you've just lost and you want to get back to the winning modes, then go get um, somebody, a fringe guy who's in the top 10 and knock them out so you can get back your confidence. So me personally, I wouldn't say for him to go into that fight after coming two back-to-back -back losses, but it has been done before. But historically, it has never been done in a heavyweight division. Never. What you've seen from uh, AJ's last two performances, do you think he's capable of beating Tyson Fury right now, who is considered the number one heavyweight in the division? Yes, he is, if he sticks it on him. But we were saying if he sticks it on Usyk, he could go take care of Usyk, and he didn't, right? So um, this, is, this is boxing. And when you're dealing with boxing is cerebral. I keep on telling you guys. Boxing is cerebral and boxing is very, very spiritual. We heard this the other day from Usyk. I've been telling people for ages that boxing is a spiritual thing, right? It's the feeling of it's the feeling. So when you're dealing with when you're dealing with the spiritual, it is quantum physics. So if you can comprehend that mentally, that is quantum physics, then you're going to come out successful. If Anthony Josh can do that and he feels, yeah, I can go do that, I can go do my thing, then he could, he, then go and do it. But if he's feeling like, boy, I'm gonna I'm gonna take time a little piece, then take time. But you know what? If that is the case for him to go take that fight, then go take that fight. Okay, Spence, I believe uh, Clarissa Shields has just turned up, so we're going to yeah, yeah. head down in now for the face-off, but thank you very much for your no, time. No, man, you know what? Big up, big up, big up, big up, man. You know what I mean? I, I met you before. I don't believe I met you before, so... You have. I've interviewed you before. Uh, uh, my apologies. <laughs> it's all right. You've done so many interviews uh, over the years. I have no idea, but you know what I mean? But, but now, you know what I mean? I've got to do Rakim Noble because I can't disrespect my brother. All right, peace to you, fingers, love. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.